Okay, the famous classical Maytag top load washer, old school agitator. This has got a filter inside of it, which probably no one ever cleaned, but it looks fairly clean. And this has got a leak, lower left side. She says it leaks out of the left side somewhere. And if you look down here, it doesn't look too good. Uh, looks like a nest, somebody's nest in there. Yeah, there's a little crawl hole for the critters. Typically what will happen is these hoses will be, become loose or it will leak out of that main seal there. And possibly out of this water pump, but I don't feel any water down below here, so I think we're all good there. And so what we're going to do is have to fill it up with some water and see where it leaks. Let's check that back drain hose here first. What happens is if your plumbing doesn't work right, sometimes it will overflow here. And it'll seem like it's coming from the washing machine. Checking this. This is all tight here. So we'll just have to put some water in it and watch and see what it does. Got power, got power. Now that, not a real good idea. Got a separate one there. Look down here. There's actually not too many places it can leak on these Maytags. See the water pump or water pump connections. Drain line, main seal. Not much else to this puppy. It's in here possibly, but it's not. <laughs> Don't hear anything dripping. So it's not likely to be a tub. I've actually, I don't think I've ever seen tubs leak on these old Maytags. There's a little bit of rust there it's from that bleach dispenser uh, thing. We don't see any leaks anywhere. And if we go down here, we don't feel any water coming off that pump. Don't see any drips there. There. None of these hoses are loose. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to kick it in the spin real quick and then watch it pump out a little bit. And if I don't see it, then we're going to have to do a whole load and uh, watch the load. Okay, we got full load.
Mystery League.